Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin VivoActive 4 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install custom third-party watch faces like this one on your Garmin VivoActive 4 using the Garmin Connect IQ Store. So the Garmin Connect IQ Store is an official app store for your Garmin VivoActive 4. This is where you can download and install applications, widgets, data fields, and then watch faces that were made for your VivoActive 4 by developers all over the world. While you can access the Garmin Connect IQ store from a computer, in this tutorial we'll be using the app on our phones. Now they do have apps for Android and iPhone, but this will be on an iPhone. So the first thing we need to do is simply go to our phones, and if you don't already have the Connect IQ store downloaded, simply open up the Garmin Connect app, and then from the Garmin Connect app, open up the menu. On an Android phone, you will select the three lines in the top left. And then on an iPhone, you'll select the More button in the bottom right. Once we're in the menu, scroll down until you see Connect IQ Store. Once you're there, select your watch. And then if you don't already have the Garmin Connect IQ Store downloaded and installed, it'll take you to your respective app store to go ahead and install the Connect IQ Store. Once you have the Garmin Connect IQ Store installed, select the three lines in the top right to open up the menu, and what we're going to do is filter by watch faces. So as you can see here, they have tons of different watch faces available that you can scroll through and select. They do have three options for sorting them. They have popular, recent, and then ratings, and that'll be by user ratings. So all of these you can go into and actually leave a rating and review for. In this tutorial, we'll be installing the Gearmin watch face. But I do recommend going through these. There are hundreds of watch faces that you can look at that have different designs and tons of data fields. That's why I like Gearmin because it allows you to have up to like 20 data fields on your watch face, which is just really cool. So I'm gonna select that. Once we're in the actual watch face, we can see the ratings and reviews by just selecting the reviews tab. So you can go through, see what other people are saying about it. You can also under the info tab, see pictures of it so you can get a better idea of what it will look like and how it will look on different watches. Once we decide we want to actually install the watch face, all we need to do is select the download button. Some of these watch faces, if they do have information such as like your heart rate, different things like that, they will require access to that. So you just have to grant permission for the watch face to have access to that data. So I'm gonna select okay. And now you'll see it says queued. Now what we need to do is select the back button. And then from here, select the little watch icon in the top of the app. And then right here, you can see the download queue. So it's currently downloading Gearmin, and then it will install it to the watch. So this might take a minute or two. All right, so once it's disappeared from the download queue and it's been installed on your watch, it'll automatically become the active watch face on your watch, on your Vivo Active 4. Many of these watch faces have settings of their own that you can customize even further to show different detail or sh change the color of the watch face. Now to do that, from the manage device area where we watch that download queue, what we wanna do is go to my watch faces. So in here, it's gonna show all the watch faces you have installed. All we need to do is select the little gear icon next to them. And then in here, we can either uninstall the watch face if we want to remove it from the watch or go to the settings. So as you can see, the Gearmin watch face has tons of different options and settings in here. You can change all the data fields. You can have the moon phases show. So that's what I'll do. As you can see, there's no moon phase currently on the watch face. And if I turn that on, all I need to do is select the save button in the top right. And then the moon phase showed up right there above the two. I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. So that quickly, it'll update after you make a settings change within the settings for your watch face on the Vivo Active 4. Now on your Vivo Active 4, I think it's important to show you how to change through the different watch faces you have installed. All we need to do from the watch face is select the button on the bottom right near the four o'clock hour marker. Hold that down for a second or two until you see the options come up and select watch face. So in here we can see all the available watch faces for our Vivo Active 4. If we keep scrolling right, we'll see the ones that we have installed. So they have Gearmin right there. And then if I scroll left, I can see the other one that I've installed. And all I need to do to activate that and choose that as my watch face is just select it. And then it will become the watch face for my Garmin Vivo Active 4. So that's how you install and then customize third-party watch faces on your Garmin Vivo Active 4. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Vivo Active 4 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets. More gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.